It's a danger. It's a, it's a direct danger to the public. People directly involved in the LAPD recruiting and hiring process are going public for the first time with their concerns. We're just letting the floodgates open to people that shouldn't be on the job. Most of our sources asked us to protect their identities for fear of retaliation, but not James Williams. He supervised LAPD police backgrounds for 20 years. Williams retired a year ago. I have nothing to gain from this, but it's the right thing to do. Prosecute the police! After the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis in 2020, followed by massive protests across the country and anti-police sentiment. The Williams alleges the LAPD began making changes in its recruiting process. We were given direction to uh, focus more on diversity candidates, which we always have. Regardless of the candidate, they, the good ones always flow to the top. But he says if the top tier candidates were not from a specific minority group, they didn't want them, so they, they sat on the shelf. I myself am a minority, and I completely believe in diversity in the department because that's what makes Los Angeles a great city. But we need to hire good, qualified candidates that can do the job. They started manipulating the standards and the guidelines, which that was a major issue with me. The hiring standards are created by POST, the Commission on Peace Officer Standards and Training. Candidates have to go through the peace officer selection process that includes a written exam, physical ability test, and background investigation. All law enforcement agencies in California must abide by those guidelines if they want certification for their academies and officers. They wanted to go below those. Can't do that. It's illegal. We're governed by uh, post standards. We're governed by government codes as well. Williams claims it didn't matter to the department. He and other sources say the LAPD is making it too easy to be an officer because of a staffing crisis. They're not waiting for the best possible candidate to come by. It almost feels like they don't have that time to do it. They want to meet the numbers now. So what were the standards before compared to now? So the physical fitness qualifier is supposed to have at least a 50% to get into the academy. Uh, we're now hiring people with 40, 30, and in some cases, lower than 10% physical scores. What they're doing is not helping. They're creating doubt in the public's mind. Chief Michael Moore says the LAPD is not lowering the standards, but the hiring practices have evolved through the years. When you're eliminating people to be a member of this organization because you can't run a mile and a half in 12 minutes, uh, you got to ask yourself when's the last time an officer ran a mile and a half and understand it. Is that still relevant? Our sources say the written exam is a lot easier because now it's a multiple choice test. The written exam, we've had that test for years. And since I've gotten there, they've, uh, they've eased up on the, uh, the standards of that written exam. We moved to a multiple question test in place of a narrative because we saw that the narratives were, were judged subjectively. They were not consistent as far as people who passed or who didn't pass. In the past, a background investigation revealing a candidate's bad credit or financial problems could have resulted in rejection. Not anymore. Williams, who used to be a cop for a different agency before becoming a background investigator and supervisor, says it's dangerous to hire people with money problems. People that are in deep financial problems often are tempted by money. The temptations out there on patrol are vast. You may pull over a drug dealer with hundreds of thousands of dollars. If you hire somebody without integrity, what do you think they're going to do? They're going to steal. I do worry about officers who would fall prey to bribery. The reality is that, unfortunately, this profession and this own department in the past decades have had those individuals with what I guess those same critics would say a more stringent standard. Well, if it was such a stringent standard and it was so great, how did those failures occur? Chief Moore strongly denies the allegations that recruiters are told to focus on specific minority candidates, even if they're not qualified. We do not hire a person on the basis of their race or their gender. But at the same time, we are pursuing qualified applicants that are representative of the diversity of this city. That is fair. That is what I think the public wants and expects. 
while both sides have shared opposite views on the department's hiring practices. It's going to be uh, devastating if you lower the standards any more than it is right now. And who's going to suffer from that? I think primarily the community. Chief Moore assures the public the LAPD is not hiring unqualified candidates. I believe the recruits that we see today are better educated, they're better qualified than the prior generations. And that at times is hard for prior generations to appreciate or to acknowledge. Gina Silva, Fox 11 News. In this day and age, qualified immunity remains one of the deadliest threats to U.S. citizens. There is no doubt, and as witnessed daily, that as long as police officers in our uncivilized nation are encouraged to murder without consequences, we can expect no improvements to our life expectancy. According to the United States National Academy of Sciences, and I quote, Police in the United States kill far more people than do police in other advanced industrial democracies. To date, Colorado, New Mexico, and New York have repealed qualified immunity, and we remain hopeful that in the near future, serial killers with badges will be held accountable for the unreasonable execution of citizens. Furthermore, the Academy of Sciences additionally says, journalists have stepped into this void and initiated a series of systematic efforts to track police-involved killings. And I bid to you, my fellow citizens, that this rampage of certified murders must be stopped for the safety of our children, handicapped, and veterans. Please support the new Institute for Justice and their Americans Against Qualified Immunity campaign. Check them out at www.aaqi.com. You'll also find them on Facebook and Twitter. That's Americans Against Qualified Immunity. That's all for now, my brothers and sisters. Stay safe and always film the police.